This is the point in the show where I usually think about what I'm gonna eat afterwards. I typically get a steak because I'm a man. And I tell you, if eating steak is manly, it is the only manly attribute I have. I, I'm not, I know nothing about cars, I'm not handy, I can't fix things. Something breaks in our apartment, I just look at my wife like, we should call someone. I don't even call my wife calls. Some stranger comes over, I just kind of watch him work. I'm like, you want some brownies or something? My wife could make us some brownies. I don't know how to work the stove. Sometimes I try and act like I have something more important to do. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna be over here working on my uh, diarrhea jokes. In case you wanna talk sports or steak or something. But I don't know why steak is considered manly. I, I guess it harkens back to when a man would hunt the animal, they'd kill the animal, and then they'd eat the animal. But now we just eat the animal. And it's not as if hunting a cow was ever that hard. Today, fellas, we are gonna hunt ourselves the elusive cow. Oh, there's one right here. Right. How do you get the milkshakes out of that thing? But I do love steak. I order steaks from Omaha Steaks. Do you buy your meat online? That's not a sign of a problem. Just type it in, a styrofoam cooler shows up. The same kind of cooler they're gonna deliver my replacement heart in. <laughs> There's always a neighbor walking by when I get a delivery like, ah, Jim got another box of meat. I imagine that apartment will be free in a little bit. Whenever I eat steak at home, I always use A1 steak sauce. Everyone has that same thin bottle of A1 that feels empty right before it floods your steak. Everyone's had the same bottle of A1 since 1989. I was looking at the ingredients, magic. Magic and prunes. But I love steak. I love going to a steakhouse, one of those old fashioned steakhouses. You go in there, it's dimly lit. The waiters are no nonsense. You getting a steak, son? You want a steak, right? Yes, ma'am, I want a steak. <laughs> Have you been to one of the steakhouses where they show you the raw cuts of meat? They just kind of thrust them at the table. They're like, you can get this one or this one. And men were so visual. No, no, in my mouth area. They're likey meaty. Sometimes they show you a vegetable like you've never seen one. This is a potato. That's a potato. <laughs> but the vegetables in the steakhouse, they don't come with the steak. They're a la carte, like leg room on Southwest. And they're not even called vegetables, they're called side dishes. Because what they do to vegetables in steakhouses, they're no longer vegetables. You can get our spinach that we cooked in ice cream. There's also our house specialty, which is a baked potato stuffed with 20 sticks of butter. If you're on a diet, we can do it with 19 sticks. But I love a steak. When I die, I want to be buried in a steakhouse. Well, not Barry, just my casket on display. And, you know, people in steakhouses, they wouldn't even care. They'd be like, what's the deal with the casket? Uh, that was a comedian. His one wish, yeah, I'll have a ribeye. <laughs> uh, coming right up, Mrs. Gaffigan. <laughs>